Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 35. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to continue about CSR tutorial. And inside this video, we will discuss about that is how can we exclude URLs from CSRF list. This is basically the continuation of last video session. And also, guys, if you are looking about the blog articles of KPHP 4, Code Igniter 4, MySQL, and WordPress, then you need to must visit this blogging website. Inside this website, you will find several interesting topics. Now, if we go to the browser, here is the website called onlinewebtutorblog.com, and inside this, as we can see that we have different different interesting topics over each of the articles like Code Igniter 4, Custom Library. Here we have joints in Code Igniter 4 and several topics we can find inside this blogging website. Now in the last video, we had seen all about the concept of how to use CSIF token inside Code Igniter 4 application. In that video, also we had discussed that if we have enabled CSIF token inside application, then we need to pass all about a CSIF token value inside each of the request. If we don't pass the value, then the request will not be processed at any more. So here we have a question. Question is that if suppose we don't want to pass all about CSRF token inside any of the request, so how can we process that request? Is this possible? Yes, it is possible to implement inside CodeIgniter 4. So how can we do? Simply, if you back to editor, we need to add a exclude keyword or exclude array inside CSRF settings. Inside that exclude, we need to pass our URLs where we want means we don't want to add CSRF token in that request. Also, as we know that inside this blogging website, also we have an article over CSRF token. So if I scroll down and here we can see that Code Igniter for CSRF token. Now if we click on this article, all the articles of this blogging website is too much informative. We can find each of the topic step by step. Now as we can see inside this Code Igniter for CSRF token, if I scroll down, so here we have made two routes. This is first form route and this is second route. So inside this first route, we are going to pass CSRF token, but inside this second form route, we don't want to pass CSRF token value. So how can we exclude this request means second form to be processed without CSRF token? Now if I scroll down, here as we can see for the first form, we have CSRF token. In the same way, we have implemented this is my token, which is a simple form. And inside this form element, we have added a CSRF token value. And these two functions are available because we have actually enabled CSRF token inside our application. Now, let's say that we are not going to pass the CSRF token value inside this request. So, I'm going to make comment of this line. Now we will see that how can we process this my token request from server side without this token value because we have totally commented this line. Now this is site controller and inside this my token method here we are processing our request and also if we go inside this routes.php this is what we have for the get request type and for the post request type. Now, if I back to a blogging website, scroll down. 
we have two different ways to use token value inside a request. Either we can create a HTML element what we had seen so far or simply we can use CSRA field inside our form element. Now if I scroll down, now let's say that this is our form, second form and inside this form we don't want to pass our CSRF token value. So how will I process? Simply we need to exclude this URL from our this CSRF token. It means we have to add this route inside accept list. This is the setting we need to do inside filters.php file. Now back to editor, press Ctrl B and inside this config folder we have a file called filters.php. Keep in mind in the last video inside this file or by the help of this file actually we have enabled our CSRF implementation inside application. So what I will do simply making an array inside this we need to add a key called accept and inside this this will be an array and inside this accept array we need to pass our exclude URLs. So inside this routes.php, this is the route we want to exclude from that list. So before that, if we save these changes and get rid of that, we want to see that is this going to process our request without token value. Now go here. Let's say that my token, this is our form. Let's put a name value click on submit. Now our request is not processing because while submitting this form we need to print this static message as well as the form data what we are passing from form. So request is not processing. So what I will do either we need to enable this token or we need to add this route my token inside this accept list. So simply accept and inside this we need to add this route. So my token we are excluded from this CSRF list. Save these changes. Go and reload this page. Fill a name value. Click on submit and as we can see that our process means our request is successfully now processed. So this is the simplest way guys we can put our URLs inside this list and we can protect those URLs being not processed without CSRF token. If suppose we have REST APIs, simply we need to put let's say our APIs have the URLs like API, user and something like that. So inside all the routes what will configure inside this routes.php we need to write here. Also in some cases let's say our route have some URLs like what we have configured here. So simply we need to copy that and pass it inside this accept list. After adding this line we are going to remove this line from being accepting CSRF token. All guides step by step we had discussed inside this interesting article. You must find all about the theoretical concept of all these topics inside this documentation. So I hope you need now understand about how can we exclude our route URLs being processed from without CSRF token. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.